Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I'm going to be going out some of the chit chat get ready with me. So it is currently like 3 something. I need to be ready by 6.30. I already brushed my teeth so we just need to wash my face. Let me explain to y'all because I'm about to use this and you're gonna be like why are you putting this moisturizer on your oily face? This is so freaking thick. This on my body as lotion is terrible. So it's like put it on my face because I don't like wasting products. I did it and it actually worked. I'm gonna use these three products on my face. We got our La Roche Posay for normal to oily skin purifying foaming cleanser and you already know I stand by La Roche Posay. And then you know we got our alcohol free toner from Neutrogena also something else that I live by because when I tell you this coloration on my face went away yep y'all already know let me wash my face I'm gonna try this when we get back, when I take my makeup off because it's saying that like it removes all of that stuff. And I wanna try this with you guys. It says, dampen your face slightly with water with your fingertips, use a small dollop in a circular motion. Well, all right, we'll do all that. It says, our exfoliating face scrub is made with organic matcha green tea and sugar. We formulated this natural exfoliator to be gentle enough for all skin types and buff away unwanted dead skin, dirt, dust, and makeup without stripping your skin of its natural oils. Each of these powerful ingredients act in synergy to balance, brighten, and rejuvenate your complexion while taking great care to be a gentle. Also, I wanted to point out that this for Ambery Vanilla, I actually got two. They are actually really, really good. I'm pretty sure y'all see other YouTubers using them and everything, y'all. Do y'all see that this bottle is almost gone? If you don't want to get the expensive one, if you want to test out a perfume before you get the expensive one, like these are so good. Y'all should really go shop. I'm going to leave the link down below. I think I have a discount code. I don't know if it still works, but if I do, I'm going to go find everything for you guys. But this is what I'm going to put on today. So yeah, I'm about to get in this shower and then I'm going to come back to y'all when I'm Finish. All right, y'all. So my my little raggedy background, cause guess what? We're on the floor today. So I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. I'm not a fan of them, but hopefully the look kind of comes together and the the eyebrows kind of come together. They're not bad, but they're not perfect either. Like they're not looking like twins to me. They looking like sisters. Why y'all didn't tell me I forgot to moisturize my lips? I know y'all see the tag. Don't mind the tag. I was like, why my lips dry? Also, if y'all tuned into my last video, y'all know that I forgot to do the blush thing. So I don't see any kind of blush on my face. Any, I mean, I guess I could see it just a tad bit. So with my eyeshadow look, if y'all saw the look that I had did the last time, it was actually a really good look. I have all white on, so I'm just gonna kind of have fun with it and see what I could come up with. I did want to do a cut crease, but I guess I don't want to go like two out or whatever. But y'all, I don't know. But anyways, the kind of things I'm gonna catch you guys up on what I got going on in my life. Go talk Talk about Holly's new song so make sure y'all go listen to Holly's new song so we come and talk about it and then this whole the AI in PC trending stuff because what is that going on so I'm about to play Holly's new song again for myself just so I can kind of get a refresher because that's gonna be the first thing we talked about because that literally just came out last night so it's called Angel so make sure y'all go listen to it I'm finna listen to it right now so y'all can listen to it while I listen to it So me and my friend, we was kind of having a conversation. So if y'all know, Holly and Chloe, they be opening for Beyonce and everything. My, fin my friend is like a huge Beyonce fan. Like he's a huge Beyonce fan. We were talking about how, um, you know, which one is going to be the Beyonce and which one is going to be the uh, Solange. It was like, oh yeah, Chloe going to be the Beyonce and then Holly going to be the Solange because you know she be in the background and everything like that. But then with whatever Chloe got going on and what Chloe's been doing or whatever, we just like, oh yeah. Chloe's gonna be the Solange and Holly's gonna be the Beyonce and after that song right there oh yeah and then my friend was like oh yeah it's Holly's year because the Little Mermaid this song and then the color purple coming out and I was like I forgot about the color purple yeah it's gonna be her year for real anyway so I'm gonna do a cut crease but I'm gonna do like a pink looking kind of cut crease I think the main reason why I actually like that song it's a, a verse in there it's the verse of the song she says black girl here black girl with the black girl hair took a little sun 
one kiss just to look alike this guy sent you're an angel now don't get me wrong i don't know too much about what kind of angel she's talking about i mean i know it's saying god sent angels so maybe she is talking about like an angel or the lord i don't know the point is that part is what got me because it was like the way she said it it was just so like so of course i'm not doing like no dramatic cut crease like no palm prom girl cut crease i'm doing like a a basic girl cut crease okay this is the palette that i'm coming from i don't know why i assumed that you guys knew what palette i was coming from but this is the palette but i'm gonna go in with this pink right here and y'all know i always gotta add me my golds in everywhere but today i think i'm gonna do silver that's really cute so i'm just gonna pack that onto my eyes and i'm gonna blend those together like i'm not even gonna get a blending color i'm gonna blend those together and then like i said since i'm going in with silver i hate the way i look in silver but we're doing white today and whenever i do white i try to do silver and then basically with any other color we do gold i'm still probably gonna put gold on my face i just i just can't see myself doing this silver gray in my cut crease because i feel like it's just not gonna look right that is not a blended brush what the heck so in my last vlog, y'all know I told y'all I was trying to find a vase for my flowers. First of all, those flowers are dead. I guess I just didn't take care of them right. Did y'all know that flowers are males? The fruits and the stuff that produce fruits, those are females. Yeah, so not too much on the eyeshadow. I'm not even finna go in with eyeliner because I know I'm gonna mess that eyeliner up. Especially because I'm like, what? I don't even like eyeliner for real. Y'all be thinking I be playing when I say I don't like eyeliner. I'm okay with trying this blush out because some of the girls when they do it, they be looking really, really good. Eyeliner is way too hard for me. It's that I don't know what I'm going for. So let me get the eyeshadow down and then we can talk about eyeliner. Because, okay, I think that's it for that. I don't know. A piece of me is just like, just do it. Just do it and see what happens. So let's do it but yeah don't get me wrong y'all i don't be doing all that full face makeup and stuff i do like the simple stuff that'll get me through the day give me what i need to do and we just gonna call it a day i think i didn't like it because i didn't really want gray a part of the look but honestly it blended very well so i'm just gonna leave it alone i still think without it would have been better but here we are yeah it's not that bad all right now which lash goes where all right let me put my lashes on i actually wanted to start putting my clothes on at 5 30. so yeah i just kind of caught y'all up a tiny bit we're moving on tuesday so I'm gonna pack on Monday before school is gonna start here in a second. So let me put these lashes on real quick and then I'm gonna talk about that AI situation. And y'all know exactly which AI situation I'm talking about. Hopefully that don't look too bad. And the crazy thing is because I've been putting my lashes on top, I really should start getting into eyeliner. Make sure y'all go look at the, a the AI NPC stuff. So when I talk about it, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you know exactly what I'm talking about, you, you good. How does it look? All right, so let's talk about the whole NPC stuff. Can we stop that? What is that? Like, I don't answer that question. I know exactly what it is. And if you did your research, you know exactly what it is too. The reason that that girl makes the money that she makes off of it is because of her audience. But I was on TikTok and somebody was talking about it and it was like, it's her audience. I didn't even know that it was a fetish thing. I just thought they did it because honestly, I had no idea. I kept just trying to bypass it and scroll past it. And every time I got on TikTok, like every other live that it showed me, was an NPC character and then if y'all watch Noah Jacob TV so I watch him and he posted it on his video y'all know that man's really react to everything in the book he reacts to everything and so when he reacted to it I was like wait a minute this is actually something because I saw it on TikTok so I was just scrolling past it but in his video he was talking about how no this is a thing people are trying to make this a thing and I was just like what in Noah Jacob's video like you know of course it was Pinky Dog but the video that he did that wasn't her that it, like stood out to me was the video of the boy doing it and his mama and i don't care what y'all say that boy's mama was in on whatever they had going on because he was like hmm, thank you thank you for the glizzy thank you for the glizzy and i was like you know he was doing the bounce thank you for the glizzy thank you for the glizzy and i was like what is going on the mama she was just like stop this y'all stop encouraging him you better call your daddy you better call your daddy right but what got it was you know if a parent trying to tell you to stop they gonna tell you to stop and then like go on about their business but no like his mama she kept repeatedly saying it like stop stop she was repeating it and everything and then i started going to the comments i was like wait a minute his mama gotta be in on this because there's no way his mama is not in on this so i'm going to the comments and people like yo the mama gotta be in on it and then next thing you know uh no it was like wait a minute the mama gotta be in on it because that don't make sense so we all just like dang even you got the mama in on it like that's wow that was kind of it like other than that i just be like get this off of my tiktok every time i see them i try to block them this is how i know people are just doing this for the money i'm pretty sure the person who started it she's doing it for the money as well she said she made like four thousand dollars or something like a day 
But this one girl I saw do it, she was laughing. First of all, the girl was in the bed. She was laying down in the bed. The phone ended up in her hand like that. But she was doing the bounce, but she wasn't doing the bounce right. But she was trying to do the bounce. And then she was like, she was laughing. Thought it was a joke. Like, I thought she was just making fun of the people. But then when somebody like hearted or whatever, she was like, thank you for the heart. Thank you for the heart. And I was like, oh, she trying to make some money off of this. Y'all, I never do my neck. Is that bad? Like, I'm the type of person, I need my foundation to match so that I don't have to put it on my neck every time i see somebody do that makeup they be like don't forget your neck and i just be like i forget my neck all the time and i promise you it still look decent also i did do my edges before i did my makeup this time y'all okay so i've been reminiscing about high schools i don't know why i have but i miss playing sports so in high school literally i played sports sixth grade up until 11th grade and the only reason i had ended up leaving sports because i was gonna stay till i was a senior i was happy about it i was like can't wait till i graduate a senior they're gonna do the senior gift baskets for us with the sports and everything but you know i was in cosmetology so i chose cosmetology over sports pretty much even though i still could have been in sports i was looking at my soccer pictures and everything and i was like i miss this so much so the girl who i seen when she did her she put her blush on first and then she like blended her blush out and then she went in with some concealer and everything so i'm gonna try that method out i'm just gonna literally smile and then i guess put it on my face i mean what else I'm supposed to do i don't know because to me it'd be making me look like a clown that's why i don't like to do it i guess y'all it's not that bad but i just don't want to look like a clown okay if we doing it like that i can do that so i was told you're supposed to let your concealer she's like you're supposed to let your concealer sit for a second and then you go in and blend it out i think she was like you let it sit before you go in and blend it i'm gonna do my lips while i wait though this contour these fists i guess i'll contour my nose i put the blush on though y'all say so i can't say i forgot the blush this time actually look good it don't look that bad i'm just i guess i just gotta wait for it to finish melting in my face so let me show you the outfit literally the outfit is an all-white outfit first of all this outfit was supposed to be a birthday outfit you know when that time it came around unfortunate events had happened and i was just not feeling my birthday anymore i wasn't feeling nothing but i still did my makeup i had already planned to do my hair i had already planned to do my nails and as i told y'all i got to be like really really depressed in college so i was just trying to keep uplifted like that just literally brought me down so i'm like basically at my lowest at this point but i'm basically at a very low point you know i'm trying to do stuff that'll keep me uplifted so yeah i got this outfit from sheen i did like sheen shopping because like i said i was trying to make myself feel better there's a lot going on oh i didn't realize it was that short oh okay um these pants gonna have to come up this is where it stops it stops right here um i didn't realize it was that short so hopefully the pants come up because they gonna have to cover my belly button we we're not gonna have that out mm -mm. so i'm already taking a big risk doing this why not just take these short i said i'm gonna show y'all the outfit and i I didn't show y'all the outfit anyway this is the top these are the pants and then these are the shoes okay that work maybe that will actually work but this is the second one that i was talking about the perfume they give you the top notes of like what it smells like and everything as you see this one is full because i didn't take this one to college with me and that's the one we gonna put on today so i don't need an anklet though but i was gonna put one on if i needed to yeah the earrings gonna bring it together hold on watch this it just brought it together it did it just brought it together yeah i'm gonna keep the white shoes on i do need to lotion my feet though and it's 6 13 we did really really good i'm ready y'all we got the top Ooh, who's that oh that's me girl you look going down you see now we got the feet and yes i am finished i will see you when i get back I'm back. It's time to take this makeup off. It was really, really good. I know I got this ice cream. I really want to finish this drink. This Rowdy Mermaid Kabacha, but it's strawberry tonic. This is so good. And then the dude, he was like, his favorite was the the crisp rice or whatever. And y'all, when I tell you that salad place was expensive, we went to a place called Sweet Green and it was really, really, really good. All right, so let me get yours out of this. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I guess the blush actually, it kind of gave a little bit. I, I like it. It's not doing too much. I can see that it's there, but I can't really see that it's there. Y'all not gonna be able to take me serious, but that's okay. So it was this video and it was talking about how 
for you know you were girly and you like to get into the makeup wait to do it don't get into it until you've actually you're satisfied with yourself when you look at your face in the mirror with your natural hair with your no makeup with your no nails with nothing done with your with your bare when you look at yourself and you just bare and you are in love that's when you know you're ready to start doing makeup because you really you don't you you shouldn't do makeup to try to change who you are or at least that's what i believe we're gonna need this we're gonna need this we're gonna need this and then we're gonna need everything that we used when we got ready now we're about to get on ready first things first is i go in with one of these makeup wipes now i did do a tiktok video on these makeup wipes these are the makeup removing towelettes from playing get makeup by yolando and when i tell you this is a towelette that is it is humongous but i just take one of these and then i just wipe it on my face that's how big it is when I tell you, it removes everything. The only thing about these wipes that I would say is make sure you put the top back on it because it will dry out. And uh, yeah, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. You with me, girl. We can do the thing. And the thing is, it's not even full all the way. And they got all the makeup off. I ain't gonna lie. I do wanna try her foundations. She been going viral. I do wanna try her foundations. If you know, you know. Then I think her. Then I think her. When I tell you, did not Zima get in there and get all the oils and remove everything off of your face? Yes. The bottle is so cute. Honestly, if this works, I will probably never get it again. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that feels immaculate. It smells like cleaning products. It says dampen your face slightly with water. With your fingertips, use a small dollop in a circular fashion on face and or body for gentle exfoliation. Simply wash off with water and pat the skin dry. And then it says use two to four times weekly as needed. Best apply morning and at night. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. To finish off, I'm going to go in with my two products. Keep it clear acne foam cleanser. Then I'm gonna go in with my cleared up acne clearing and tone correcting a jaw. And then y'all already know I'm gonna finish it off with that Mary Kay satin body whipped shea cream. And that is it, you guys. My bare face. Today was a success. Today was a good. I am satisfied. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really thank you guys so much for watching it. And especially if you made it to the end of this video, you made it to this here part. You were ruined. And y'all should leave a heart. You should leave a white heart. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. But yes, let me stop talking. And I hope to catch you in the next video. <laughs>